Hello, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be back. I have been away from YouTube for a little bit, but it is nice to be coming back for the new year. And in this video, we're going to talk about thinking from the end result, why it is important to think from the end result, exactly how to do it. And I have a little trick for you to make sure that every thought you have about your desire is thinking from the end result, it's something very easy you can do. So I'm going to tell you that too. But before I jump in, I want to let you know that I am doing a New Year's live workshop on Zoom this Sunday, January 3rd. And we are going to do a deep dive into how to manifest love and money using affirmations. So I'm really excited to do this with you. It's going to be a way for us to intentionally gather and just really claim what we want in this new year. Claim what we want in terms of money and really manifest it and claim what we want in terms of love and really manifest that. So I'm so excited to do this with you. All the details are in the link below, directly below this video, also in the comments, and I will hopefully see you in there. So let's talk about thinking from the end result, why this is important, what it really means, how to do it, and what is my little trick you can do to make sure you're always thinking from the end result. Well, the reason we want to think from the end result, it's it's super simple. Everything in your outer reality is being manifested by your inner reality. And your, your dominant thoughts, feelings, and beliefs are creating your outer reality, right? We all know this. So essentially who you think you are and what you believe you have is what you're creating in your outer reality. Now, I want to say something real quick because this can like throw people off. This does not mean that you delusionally convince yourself that you're in a relationship if you're not. That's not what thinking from the end result means. It essentially means you're retraining yourself to be and feel like a new person. And the way you're retraining yourself to be this new person is by thinking the thoughts of someone who already has your desire. So if you're manifesting a relationship, thinking from the end result means you're thinking like a person who's already in the relationship. Not only are you in the relationship, you're in the relationship that you want to be in. You're in the best relationship of your life. So what are the thoughts you'd be having as the person who's already in the relationship? I love my partner so much. My partner loves me so much. I feel so showered with love and affection by my person. They're so good to me. I love the way they treat me. I love the way they show up for me. I feel happier than I've ever felt before. This is the best relationship of my life. These are examples of thoughts where you are thinking from the end. You, with those thoughts, are already in the relationship. And by thinking from the end, by doing affirmations, by doing imaginal acts, by doing any technique that you are doing, what you're doing is you're training yourself. You're training your inner world to really start to feel like a new person. And this new person is in the relationship already. Even if it's not in your 3D reality, you start to feel different. When you go into that imaginal act and you are in the relationship and there, you know, imaginal act or affirmation, again, anything, but you're thinking the thoughts of the person who is being loved by your person. You are, you are becoming a new person yourself. You're becoming the person who's in the relationship. Again, it's not like we delusionally really start to think we're in a new relationship. No, but we are practicing a new inner experience and that's going to manifest the new reality. Another example is with money. If you're thinking from the end result, you're not having thoughts of, I don't have enough money. I'm scared of money. I don't like looking at my bank account. I don't like... Now, if you're looking at the 3D and you actually are scared about money, those are the thoughts that you're thinking. And that's that's an end result of not having money. So we want to retrain ourselves and be having new thoughts. And it's going to make you feel like a new person. And those new thoughts are, I already have the money. Let's say you want, you can do a specific amount of money or you can just do money in general. Let's say it's $10,000. 
I have $10,000 in my bank account. I love that I have $10,000 in my bank account. I love that this money is here. I feel like I can buy whatever I want. I feel super safe and taken care of. You can also go general with it. I have so much money in my bank account that I'm totally taken care of. I don't ever have to worry about money again. I feel so abundant. I feel like I can buy anything I want. That's thinking from the end result. You are becoming a new person who no longer has fear about money, who's no longer worried about money because you already have the money. And again, all you're doing with any manifesting technique, you're just retraining the way you associate to the thing you desire. You're going from the position of feeling like it's not yours to with these new thoughts, you start to feel like it is mine. I am in the relationship. Again, it's not a delusion thing. It's just that imaginally it starts to feel much more close to you. It starts to feel like who you are. So here is a very easy tip of what you can say. We can call it an affirmation. It's just a sentence that you can say that will immediately put you into thinking from the end result. It will also put you in the state of the wish fulfilled. That's what thinking from the end result does. It puts you in the state of the wish fulfilled. It makes you feel like the person who already has your desire. So here is this very easy sentence you can say for any desire you have. You say about the desire, it's already mine. It's already mine. The relationship is already mine. The money is already mine. Now, when you say something like it's already mine and you sit with it for a second, like I was just doing. So let's, let's say you're ma manifesting a relationship. There might be times where that relationship feels really far away. And when it feels really far away, it feels like it's not yours. And that's not comfortable. No one likes to be there. Well, if instead you tell yourself this relationship, whether it's with a specific person or a new person, it doesn't matter. But this relationship, this relationship that I'm desiring, it's already mine. What you're probably going to feel is like a light sense of relief, maybe satisfaction. It just feels like an inner experience of confirmation. It's not this huge like emotional experience or whatever. It might be. It just depends where you're currently at. Maybe that will feel super blissful. It's, I mean, it's going to be different for everyone the way that impacts you. But essentially what you're going for is to start to associate that the thing you desire is not far away from you. It's not way over there. It's yours. And even if you can't see it in your 3D reality yet, it's yours. Now, when you persist in the knowing that something is yours, meaning you continue to think that the relationship is yours, you continue to think that the money is yours, and you really start to think and feel like it is mine with that sense of satisfaction, it's going to manifest because that's the only thing we have to do to manifest. The only thing you have to do to manifest is to think and feel and dominantly believe that what you desire is already yours. And that doesn't mean that you're in the relationship right now. It means you know it's going to manifest. You know it. This is how we do it. Okay, guys, I'm so happy to be back here with you. Happy New Year to you. And I hope you will join me in the workshop on Sunday. Again, it's a love and money affirmations workshop. All of the details are linked below and I will see you soon.